What's going on, all you amazing people? I'm Matt, and today I'm by myself. Why am I by myself? Well, Vanessa left me. No, I'm just kidding. She's not allowed to go anywhere. She's stuck with me, whether she likes it or not. No, the truth is that she was not fortunate enough to get to watch Open Water 3 Cage Dive, whereas I, on the other hand, was lucky enough to watch Open Water 3 Cage Dive. Yeah, that's it. So this masterpiece begins with an underwater camera being discovered at the bottom of the ocean. Just harmless sea trash, right? Wrong! The footage on the camera tells the story of three Americans, a young couple and their good friend, who venture off to Australia to visit a cousin, take in some sights, and go cage diving to check out some awesome sharks. So why on earth am I reviewing Open Water 3 Cage Dive? Three reasons. Number one, shark movies are my kryptonite. The second is that somehow, someway, this movie earned itself a limited theatrical release. And the third reason is that the trailer actually looked pretty good. I watched the trailer, I was immediately interested and thought, this might be a worthwhile investment and how wrong I was. This movie is terrible, and everything that's good about the trailer is also what's good about the movie. Any and every moment featuring great whites that's in the trailer is also what's in the movie. So there's that, and let's start off with the characters, which are pretty horrendous. Well, no, there is one character who actually has a medical condition and he's planning on proposing to his girlfriend, and so we're supposed to care about him. We certainly can't care about his girlfriend or his friend because they're actually seeing each other behind the boyfriend's back. See? Love triangle, betrayal, added drama to a movie about a boat that's capsized by a rogue wave, leaving people stranded in shark-infested waters because that plot screams we need more drama. Now the first Open Water is a pretty good movie and it works so well because we've never really seen a story like that before. It does help that it's also based off of a true story, but the characters felt genuine, the situations felt realistic and terrifying, and it was directed with a sense of realism and intimacy that played off of our fears. This movie is directed like found footage garbage. The camera just bobs up and down and wobbles around everywhere and never really shows us anything interesting. You don't care about the characters, you don't care about the story, and I personally gave up on this film at some random point, and somehow, 47 meters down, yeah, you re remember that movie? Somehow that managed to be better than this train wreck, which actually says a lot because 47 meters down was supposed to be a straight to DVD release, and yet, somehow both of these films ended up in theaters. I don't get it. And I'm also giving Open Water 3 an F. Yeah. Big shocker there. So this movie is also available on iTunes and video on demand, but I wouldn't do it if I were you. Don't. Just, just don't do it. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I do also want to let you know that we will be on vacation for a week, but don't freak out. Just don't freak out. We will be uploading new reviews when we get back. And as always, if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more reviews, click on the links down below. If you want to subscribe to our channel for more awesome, amazing movie reviews, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you guys next time.